A young woman in Centerville is now using social media to comfort people who are still worried about the possible side effects of the COVID vaccine. And Tunis reporter Kiana Dyches shows us why Aaliyah Renee is what's working in the Miami Valley tonight. She's kind of a bit immune compromised. She's in remission now, but just there's the uncertainty of how her body will react after um, going through something like that. As a breast cancer survivor, Aaliyah Renee's mother got her two doses of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. And each time, her daughter danced and sang her through it. Give that muscle extra love. And I told her, oh, don't worry about it. You're going to be fine. Just work that muscle, move it. And I was like, come on, mom, like really move it. I was like, come on, like literally move it like you're a butterfly. Renee is a 21-year-old master's student at Wright State University who, like many of us, are looking forward to getting back to normal. After losing her grandfather, to COVID, she says she wanted to use her online presence to help others. He was um, in the hospital, but we couldn't go visit him and be with him. So it was really hard. And then um, the same week that he passed away, then I got it. I didn't get it from him, but I got COVID as well. So it was just a lot to deal with emotionally and physically all at once. Health leaders say sharing positive moments involving vaccines can help shift the narrative. It's very important when family and friends can reach out to those who are unvaccinated and may be hesitant. And when they go through the vaccination and they see how they're able to handle it and that there's no problems, that's really encouraging to other people because people who are family, friends, loved ones of individuals, they really have the most influence on people in their lives. Renee calls it positive peer pressure. Just to have some fun with it, I think the world needs a little bit of fun and lighthearted laughter right now. Kiana Digest, 2 News, working for you.